Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files and photos from your iPad to an external hard drive without having to use a computer. I'll cover how to do this on newer iPads with the USB-C port and also older iPads with a lightning port. I've added chapters below if you'd like to skip to any parts that are more relevant to you. First, you'll need an external hard drive. There's two main options for this, an SSD, which is small, fast, and more reliable, or you have an external hard drive, which are okay, but tend to be a bit slower and more prone to failure because they have a spinning disc inside. I like to use my SSD, which is the Crucial X9 Pro in one terabyte. I'll leave it linked below if you wanna check it out but you can really use any hard drive that you have laying around or even a USB stick if you don't have many files to copy. Most SSDs come with a USB-C cable, so if you have a USB-C iPad, you can just plug that straight in. If you're using an external hard drive that has a USB-A cable, you'll just need to get a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which you can grab off of Amazon for pretty cheap. To get started, we're going to plug in our SSD so this one here has the USB-C port on the end. So this one will plug directly into my iPad. But if you are using an older hard drive like this one here, you just need your USB-A to USB-C adapter. And you just plug it in like that. And then that will go straight into your iPad. You'll see when your SSD is connected because the light will turn on. So once you've plugged it in, you'll need to go to the Files app, which is this one right here. If you don't know where that is, you can come across to your app library and just search for files and it'll open up like this. If your screen looks a little bit different to mine, it might be in this view. You just need to hit this icon here to bring up the files menu. And then under locations, this is where your SSD or hard drive will be located. So mine's called the X9 Pro and yours will be called whatever brand your hard drive is. So you can click on that and you'll see the files inside your hard drive. Now, before we get started, we wanna check what format our hard drive is in, because if your hard drive is not in the correct format, you might have trouble reading or writing to the hard drive. So to check the format, you wanna press and hold on the hard drive name, and you wanna go get info. And so here you can see all the information of the hard drive, and the thing we're looking for is the format and you can see this one is XFAT. XFAT is the best option because it works with iPads, Macs, Windows PCs, and even Android devices. So you can move your files between different devices without any issues. So I would always recommend that your hard drive is formatted in XFAT. And if your hard drive says something different here, you're probably gonna to wanna to format it. And to format your hard drive, you will need a computer, whether that's a Windows computer or a Mac. When you format a hard drive, it is going to delete everything off of the hard drive. So you need to make sure that you've copied the files if there are files on it somewhere to keep them safe before you format it. So once you've checked that your hard drive is formatted correctly, then we can move on. So we'll just close out of that screen. The first thing we're going to copy over to the hard drive is some photos and videos. But before we do that, I like to get things organized on my hard drive so I can find things easily later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder on our hard drive. And to do that, we're gonna come up here and click this little folder icon and then we're going to name this folder. You can name it whatever you like, but I'm gonna call it iPad Backup 2025. Within this folder, I'm gonna create some subfolders. So I want one for photos, and I want one for my documents. Okay, so now we have created some folders to put our files in. We're all ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is copy some photos into this folder here. So we'll close out of the Files app and then we'll come over to our Photos app. So to copy all of your photos over to your hard drive, you'll need to press Select. So you can either press and tick the photos that you want to copy across. But if you have a lot that you want to copy, you can tick and then drag your finger. 
there isn't a way that I'm aware of that you can select all in one hit. You have to tick them like this. But if you have a lot of photos on here that you need to copy, I would recommend doing it in batches. Otherwise it could slow you down, especially if you're using a older hard drive like this, they aren't as fast as the SSDs. So for this, we're just going to copy these photos here. So once you've selected all your photos, you want to click this icon down here which is the share icon. And then we're going to scroll down to save to file and we'll click save to file. And depending on how many photos you've selected, that might take a bit of time. So that's why I'd also recommend just to do it in smaller batches. And then we're gonna select our hard drive, which is the X9 Pro for me. And we're gonna to go to our iPad backup folder that we made. And then I'm gonna to go to my photos folder. And then I'm just gonna hit save and it's gonna copy all of the photos to my hard drive. Okay, so once the photos have copied to the hard drive, they're still going to be in your photo library. So if you're doing this to clear space off, you need to come back and hit select to highlight all the photos that you want. And then you'll hit the delete button here to remove them from your iPad to clear up the space. So you just need to remember which photos, sort of the first and then the last one. So you make sure you're deleting the right photos that have been copied. And I would always recommend just closing out of the photo app first, going back into your files app, opening the folder you saved them into and just checking that they copied across okay. And then once they've all copied across and you can also see here you have 63 items. We can come back to photos and we've ticked 63 items. So we know all of these photos are safe on the hard drive and then we can click delete to make the space on the iPad. Uh, but I'm just gonna go cancel because I don't wanna delete the photos from here. Okay, so that's how you copy over photos. And I also did have some videos in there so that will copy videos as well. Okay, so that's how you copy photos and videos. And now we're going to do files. So if you come over here in your files app and you can see locations, under locations is on my iPad. And these are all the files that are saved onto your iPad. So you will notice over here, we have all of the system files and these are sort of files and folders that you can't delete because they're for apps that are installed on your iPad. So we sort of ignore them, but I have this documents folder down here where I keep a few things. So to copy these files, over to my hard drive. It's going to be very similar. We're going to go select. We're going to tick the files we want. So you can remember, you can just rub your finger down to copy lots at once, but you also have on here, unselect all and select all. And then you can see some options down the bottom here. So you can duplicate, move, delete, and more. But for this one, we want to move. So if you hit move, then we're going to select our hard drive which is the X9 Pro. And then I'm gonna to go to my iPad backups and documents, and then we're gonna click copy. So now we can go back to the hard drive and we'll go to backups, documents, and we can see the documents are safe inside the hard drive now. So we can go back to the iPad, back to documents, and we can select them again and we can delete them from the iPad to make space if that's what you want. So if you're just doing a backup, just so you have a backup of your files in another location, you can leave your files here. But if you are doing this to clear up space, make sure you come back and delete the files. So there are certain files that you can't back up to the hard drive. This is only gonna work for photos, videos, and files like PDFs and spreadsheets and zip files, just your standard files. You're not going to be able to back up things like messages, contacts, calendar events, uh, Safari bookmarks and history, um, app data or settings, but you can't do a full iPad backup like you would on iCloud. This is just sort of for files. So if you did want to use a hard drive to back up your iPad, similar to how you would using iCloud, you would need to plug it into a computer and use iTunes or Finder on a Mac, and then you would need to do a backup that way. But maybe that can be for another video on another day, but this method is just for backing up sort of standard files and photos and videos.
Once you've finished copying all your files to disconnect your hard drive, I think you can just pull it directly out, but I like to do things a little bit different just to make sure I'm not gonna corrupt any files. So you wanna make sure everything has finished copying and to be extra sure what I do is I close out of the files app and my photos app, just close out of everything on your iPad. And then what I like to do is I like to lock my iPad. And then if you have a look here at the light indicator on the SSD, this is gonna turn off once you've closed out of everything and turned your iPad off. So it does take a second for it to close off, but by doing this, you can just make sure there's less chance of corrupting any files on the hard drive. Yep, see, now that turned off. And then now I know it's safe to remove because there is no communication between the hard drive and the iPad. So now I'm going to show you how to do this on an older iPad that has a lightning port connection. So the things you're going to need are this adapter here, and this has a lightning port connection on it. And then on the other end, we have USB-A and another lightning, but we don't actually need this port for anything. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect this one into your iPad. Then next you will need a USB hub that has power into it. This cord here is the power connection that's plugged into the wall socket and it's gonna be powering this USB hub. So you can see each one of these USB ports we can turn on or off if we have a device connected to it. And then we're gonna be plugging this USB into this adapter. So this one's going to go straight into here. So now this is pushing power straight to the iPad, which is what's needed because these ports can't power a hard drive like the USB-C ones can. Once you have that part connected, then you want to grab your hard drive and then you can just plug it into any of these USB ports. And then this one, we need to power it on. Then you can see here it's powered on the hard drive and you can tell by this light turning on. So then if we go to our iPad, we can go to files and then if you hit this little icon here at the top, it's gonna to open the side menu and you can see the hard drive has picked up here. And so that's how you connect a hard drive that has a USB-A connection. To connect an SSD that has a USB-C connection to your iPad that has a lightning port, what you're gonna to need to do is pull out this cable and then you can see here there's a USB-C connection. And then what you're going to need is a USB-C to USB-A cable. So then this part is going to go into the SSD and then we're going to plug this part over into our hub. And then I'm gonna turn my hub on and you'll see this one will light up. Oop, you can see that one there has a light on it so it's powered up and then we can go into files just hit this little side menu and then you can see my x9 pro which is this hard drive here has appeared and all my files are right there and if you want to disconnect your hard drive all you need to do is close out of the file app and if you're in like photos or anything like that close out of all of that and then you want to lock your ipad and then if you wait a second you will see this light will switch off okay so that's switched off and we can disconnect it and it's safe to remove I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you need any of the products that were mentioned in the video, I've linked them below. And if you're looking for more iPad tips, you can go check out some of my other videos. And I've also got plenty more coming soon. Thanks for watching.